Good day. In this video, we are going to do question 2D of the 2022 NCA Level 1 Geometric Reasoning Paper. This is an excellent question and we will take some time to solve this problem. Without further ado, let's read the question. Angle NPM is 42, so that angle is 42. Angle NQM is 36, so that's 36. Angle MNP is 90, so that's 90. And the length MN is C. So find the perimeter of the shaded region. So you want to find the perimeter of this region, okay? Giving your answers in terms of C. Show your working and show all your working to 4DP. Okay, so there are two right angle triangle there. Triangle M and P, which is the white triangle, and also the M and Q, which is made up of the white and the shaded region, the bigger triangle. So we are going to find the length using so in the triangle, so we're going to start doing it. So in triangle, so we're going to start with triangle, the white triangle M and P. Okay, so we can find the two length of the, so we can find MP. So MP is going to be using the so katoa. So that's going to be opposite. C is going to be opposite. And NP is going to be your hypotenuse. Okay, so we're going to do sine. So sine 42 equals to O over H and your O is represented by C and your H is represented by what we're going to find is represented by MP okay so MP is just going to be you swap places this and this swap places so MP is going to be C divided by sine 42 which is the same as C over sine 42 is going to be 0 .0, 0 0.0 put in your calculator and your answer is going to be 1.4945c so that is the first length you find so once you find 1.4945c we're going to put it here because that's one of the length we need to calculate so you got 1.4945c so that is the length so we need to calculate the other two length to calculate the perimeter of the shaded region okay next we can find the length np okay np so same thing this time we're going this is adjacent so you have O and A, so it will be tangent, 42 is going to be O over A, okay? So now your O is now your C again, your opposite is C, and your hypotenuse is going, uh, your adjacent is going to be NP. So to calculate the length NP is the same, you're going to just swap, you go to C over tangent, 42, you swap places, this and this change places, and then it's going to be C over, you put in a couple of tangent, 42 is going to be 0 0.9004 and your, okay, then your C, your NP is going to be 1 divided by 1.9004 will give you an answer of 1.1106C. So that length there is going to be 1.1106C. So far so good? Great. Now we are going to look at the bigger triangle in triangle M and Q. Okay. We are looking at a triangle N and Q. Okay. So now we are going to use tangent or sine of 36. So again, this is another hypotenuse. Okay. So if we use this triangle, so sine 36 is going to be opposite of a hypotenuse. The opposite is still your C. And your hypotenuse, what you're going to find is going to be MQ. Okay, so your MQ is going to be C divided by sine 36 or C divided by the number we found earlier was 0 0.5878. Put in your calculator and find out that sine 36 is 5878, and your answer is going to be 1.7013C. So again, that answer is required for the perimeter. So we're going to put in red, okay? So we're going to be 1.7013C. Okay, the last step we need to calculate is the length N cube. Because once you go that length, you minus the length, we're going to calculate the P cube, okay? So to calculate N cube is the same thing. So it's going to be opposite of adjacent, going to be tangent 36. So we are going to calculate N cube now, okay? Tangent 36 is going to be O over A. O is still your C, and your A is what we're going to find, NQ, okay? So NQ is just going to be C divided by tangent 36, 
which is the same as C over 0 0.7265. Put in your calculator, tangent 36 is 0 0.662, and the answer will come up to 1.3764C. That is the length from M to Q. So to calculate your PQ, so your PQ is just going to be the length that we found earlier, 1.3764C minus the earlier length, which is 1.1106C, and the answer will come up to, let me check, uh, 0.2658C. So that is the length of PQ, so we're going to put it there in red, 0.2658C. So to calculate the perimeter of the shaded region, perimeter, you're just going to add the, all the three numbers in red, 1.4945C plus 1.7013C plus 0.2658C. Put it in your calculator and the answer is going to be 3.4616C. That is an excellent question. So if you can get it right, you should have no problem passing this paper because it's an E7 or E8 in this paper. So if you have any question, I my advice to you is do the question again and you should be able to do it right the second time. Cheers everyone and have a good day.